<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Speedroid Toolbox, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Munchrai, who wanted to see what pure Speedroids could do in the year of our Ra 2019. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know normally I play with TCG cards. I don't use Japanese exclusives because I want these decks to be something that, if you're playing in real life right now, you can go out, buy all the cards, take it to locals, and have a fun time. But in this case, since it's a Patreon request, I've broken that rule because Speedroids have a lot of really good support that's only out in Japan right now. They have their new boss monster, Kite Drake. They have a Link monster in the form of Gom Gun. And they have a marble that searches every monster in the archetype, which is really, really nice. So we're going to be using those and seeing what we can do. Now, this is not a competitive deck by any means. It's mid-rogue tier at best. But it does work, and it does what it wants to do fairly well. It can play through a negation, and if you get the right hand, it can put up a fight against meta decks. It can't do it consistently, but I'm hoping we'll be able to see quite a few wins today. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm doing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alright, here we are. First duel versus zero. He's one off. And we want to go second with this deck. This is a go second toolbox deck which means basically we're going to let our opponent do something, and then we're going to try to build the monster that best outs his board. We've got several different uh, synchro monsters we can build. This is a synchro heavy archetype. And hopefully we'll have something that can combat whatever he's doing. Uh, if he has the, uh, the zombie guy, we might be in for some trouble, or we would if we didn't have interrupted kaiju slumber. This is our so sort of generic tech, it has some synergy with another card in here, so we, we can play it. But it really helps going second, just to be able to wipe the board, have a good time. Hopefully he doesn't get anything that can negate this. Zombies are usually about their, their one guy. The, the baller rock. Drawing cards during the standby phase, he'll special summon himself, and he can negate monsters and banish monsters, and I'm not liking that. I'm personally just not a fan. So, he's got a pretty good setup, and we've got this. Let's play it over here, just in case that's uh, infinite impermanence. Just nuke the field. We get one of these, he gets one of these. Let's put ours over here. Let's put his right here. Um, let's see. Everything's zombies, which actually... Damn, this takes a wind machine tuner, so I can't, I'm not going to be able to make that because I won't be a machine. A sad state of affairs, but I think we can still get this going. Okay, so first what we're going to do, special summon this, because it's a wind that you can special summon if there's nothing in the column. And then we're going to normal summon Terror Top. Hello? Terror Top's going to search? Um, and we're going to get Taka Tomborg, because this guy's just, he just gets all your plays going. And we're going to make Gom Gum. This is our Link Monster. Howdy, nice to meet you. And it has two effects. First, you can banish a Wind Synchro. Um, what do I want? Okay, I'm going to do a seven. The level's important, because then you can pick two monsters, two Speedroids from your deck whose levels equal that level, and one of them goes to your hand and one goes to the graveyard, but it's random. But fortunately, you can kind of work things out. We've got a level four that'll let us get out of the graveyard, and we've got a... I should have picked a six. Oops. We'll get another Taka Tomborg. I miscounted because I was talking to you guys. I wanted to get Marble Machine, but that's, that's fine. That's a whole nother thing. Um... And then second effect, you can normal summon again. Which is good because a lot of the speedroids get effects when they're normal summoned. Bamboo horse when it's normal summoned. Special summon a ding dang old uh, speedroid from your hand. I think it's level 4 or lower. 
Yeah, something like that. And we're going to go ahead and get out a Clearween Synchro Dragon. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Nice to see you. And then we're going to Special Summon Taka Tomborg. You could Special Summon if you control a wind, which all the speedroids are wind. Tribute it, summon any tuner from your deck. And normally I would go for this because this is an awesome play you can do, but I'm not going to be able to make the things I want because of Zombie World. It's a sad state of affairs. So we're just going to go for this. Red-Eyed Dice. It has an effect. I'm not going to explain it now because we're not going to be using it now. And we're just going to go into Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Because it's a good one. Moi. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I might be able to, maybe not OTK, but do more damage. Let's see if I can go in for more damage. I could sit here and calculate how much I have and if I can OTK, but that's not fun. I'd rather just do random shit. And then, finally, we could do this. Banish Den Den from the graveyard, summon another tuner from the graveyard. And we could make, like, this and draw a card, or we could make this and then do 500 more damage. Yeah, let's try that. This will be good to have in the graveyard anyway. And let's see if this OTKs. I think this OTKs, unless he's got something. Because if Crystal Wing attacks over a level seven or a level five or higher monster, it gains attack equal to that monster's attack. So that'll do three thousand. It just auto always does three thousand. There's a thousand. There's 22 and 28. And he surrendered. So there you go! Speedroid OTK. Granted, we had to use Kaijus to clear the field, but you can see how with their special summonings, the additional normal summon, the search from this, you're going to be able to put quite a few things on board. And like I said, without Zombie World, there's a really cool combo we can do. Hopefully we'll do it in the second duel. Or one of the other ones after that. I mean, I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> All right, here we are, second duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Muntry, who is the, the guy who, who uh, requested for this deck. So special thanks to him down in the comments. If you like Speedroids, if you like this episode, it's all thanks to him that it's here. Um, and we're going up against Saitama, One Punch Man, which I would have expected to be, like, desk bots or trains, or something that, like, OTKs. Uh-oh. I'm in danger. <laughs> My extra deck is all I have. If he takes... Yep, okay. Well, he just took out eight cards from my extra deck. So I think we're screwed. I think we're doomed. There's not much I can do from this point forward. A sad state of affairs. I mean, I'll still try... I could still summon a whole bunch of regular monsters and stuff, but if he takes eight cards out of my extra deck... Yep, and then he's going to get like a whole bunch of effects. Uh, what did he get rid of? That's my graveyard. Where's his graveyard? Nature. Interesting. I wonder why he sent an Entis... He's not going to be able to blow up anything. Maybe he just doesn't have anything else in his extra deck. And then what did he send of mine? Oh, that's his graveyard again. I'm lost. Okay, there's my Lynx. There's my level 6. Okay, but he didn't get my biggest, baddest boss monster, so I might still have a chance. And I still have a Link, so I could still make a Great Fly. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder why he took out these level 5s and 6s. Most of these are only here to use as fodder for... Gom Gum. Oh, and there goes my main phase. Ripperoni. Pepperoni. Miracle Synchro Fusion. Okay. So he's searching Miracle Synchro Fusion because he sent these two to the grave. 
and then he's just going to miracle synchro fuse and make exterior, which can negate all the things. But I have like, you know, stuff. Um, yeah, actually, what I'm going to do, it's not going to be much, but I've got a whole bunch of kaijus. Going to normal summon Bamboo Horse. Bamboo Horse will summon this. And we're going to get Great Fly. Huh. Because Exterior's Earth, that'll take slightly less damage. I'm also going to set this because I can use it next turn. So, unless he OTKs us, which he might, he searched a whole bunch, he did some stuff. We can, we can just kaiju over his exterior, and if he can't, if he doesn't exterior before he destroys this, we might get a search. A spirit calling. Calling all spirits. Oh, back to the extra deck. No search for us. Yep, sadly, I just think we're done. I don't know, I, I've heard a couple people say that, uh, perhaps now that, uh, incantations are so common that maybe we need to get rid of Zaborg the Mega Monarch just because he allows you to do stuff like this. Just like send a whole bunch of cards from your extra deck and then get a whole bunch of like searches with a uh, Herald of Arclight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's pretty much got game. He's probably going to do other stuff because people like to style, but I'm not going to show that, so... We've lost! We'll just go on to the next duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are! Third... third duel? Yes, third duel! Brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Manny! Just a new... just dang old Manny! Just a nice, normal name, who's one of the newer patrons! Uh, just joined on, and thanks to him down in the comments. It looks like we're going up against True Draco... Probably not the greatest matchup, but we have our magnet, and I think we can do some work with it. Depending on what he makes. And we've got our shock surprise, and we've got our terror... We've got a, we've got quite a few things we can do. We can make our link without even using our normal summon, that's always nice. Revival of the True Kings. Yeah, really, I just gotta hope... I don't think they do, because they're like level 6... Jaugen the Spiritualist. Alright. Interesting. Not what I expected. That kind of shuts us down a little bit. Let's just normal summon this. See if I can beat over Jaugen. Jaugen. Oh, and Tribute Summon. During my turn, and that, that blows up the monster. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this. Ouch, my most of me. Fortunately, we've got Shock Surprise. It sucks to waste it with just one monster, but it's banish a speed up to two speedroids and then destroy that many cards on the field. So I've got to get rid of this so I can do things. It would have been nicer to wait like a turn and then do it, but I don't know what he can do, and I don't want to give him a chance to summon something big that I can't deal with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is special summon this. Lose one turn. So you're just playing all floodgates. It's just discount floodgate warehouse. Um, oh, and I can't summon two of these in one turn, but at least I've got defense. Yeah, this is another instance where it's like, well, I'm not sure exactly what I could do about this, because my deck's about special summoning from the extra deck, and this is basically just like a hard counter to all special summoning from the extra deck. 
It loses hard to all the same things that Mystic Mine loses to, so... And I can still do this next turn when I can Normal Summon, so that'll be nice. Although, getting rid of... I'm not sure... It, basically, I just have Shock Surprise to get rid of this. I should have waited. Because then I could have gotten rid of both. Although I didn't know what his face down was, so... You can't blame me entirely for that. Well, let's see, he's got a level 6. Do I have a level... Which button is it that... No, that's Spanish Zone. Uh, there we go. Do I got a level 7 with enough? No, they've all got 2,000. Got a level 6, I could get that. That would be cool. Yeah, let's just do that. Another Jowgen! You dick bucket. He is just a bucket of dicks, I tell you what. Um, stopping me from doing all the things I want to do. Normal summon. I've got more attack than your Jowgen. Get out of here with that bullshit. Special summon Hasty Horse. Um... And I guess, because I'm not going to be able to use this, um... Negate its effect during the turn, and if an effect monster is changed... Okay, so we're just going to get Great Fly. He's a pretty great fly. And its effects will be negated, but, you know... At least it'll be a bigger defense than Gom Gum, and I'll get something back when I'm done. So if he doesn't get another Jowgen, I might have a chance. He just surrendered. He just surrendered! Well, that was a hard-fought battle that I didn't think... You know what? I'm counting that as a win, because I didn't give up in the face of adversity. Sometimes that's all you need to survive. That's all you need to win, is to just not give up hope for long enough. And then your opponent will be like, this is dumb, and leave. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, the fourth duel. This one brought to you by Lord Patron himself, Kale Saltleg, as you may know him. He, uh, he recently got the Highlander tier on Patreon, which is amazing. And we're playing against Mystic Mine. And you know what? I was told last time that if I went up against Mystic Mine, I shouldn't count it. Because it's boring to watch and it's dumb. So I'll make a note of this and I'm just, I'm just gonna surrender. Not in the face of adversity. It's just, it's boring. It's dumb. It's a waste of everyone's time. Let's go to a real duel. Where I, where, where plays will, ha where interaction between opponents will happen. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the real fourth duel. And you, you'll have to let me know in the comments if, if you agree with that. I realize it might have been a vocal minority, but in the last episode we fought against like two Mystic Mind decks, and there were a lot of complaints that it was just really boring to watch, and that it wasn't fair, and that Mystic Mind is doomed for the ban list. So there's no point in even like doing it. But, you know, maybe if, if you think skipping it is cowardly, if you think that I should play through it regardless, uh, let me know and I'll do that. I don't really care either way. I, I'm fine with it. I mean, if I see an excuse to skip Mystic Mine, I certainly, I'm not going to argue with it, but <laughs> if you guys really want me to, like, I'll tough with it. Like, I'm getting paid to do this. Why not? Uh, we're starting with Gom Gum. Let's see if we can. Um, what did I even do? Nothing. Okay. So the classic play you want to do, if you don't have any of your great cards, send one of your level sixes, and then you want to get Taka Tomborg and Terror Top. Terror Top can search a Speedroid when it's normal or special summoned. So either way, you're going to get Taka Tomborg. Because when you normal summon Terror Top, he searches Taka Tomborg. It's a good thing either way. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. How are the kids? And then what we're going to do, special summon, tribute for red-eyed dice. When red-eyed dice is summoned, it can target a speedroid and make its level anyone between 1 and 6. And we're going to choose 6, because we want to make this a level 7. 
Specifically, just this clear wing synchro dragon. And then we've got this thing. This is Monster Reborn, but for speedroids. Just any speedroid. And we're going to get this back. Because it's a level 1. It can't target this because it's not a speedroid. But that's fine. We don't want to. It's already level 7. You can't make level 8s with it. And we're going to make clear wing synchro dragon. Because that's our only really good go first kind of card. Because it has a negate on it. I mean, Clear Wing has a negate, but only for level 5 or higher monsters. This is all monsters. Not the greatest setup, but at least we can put a negate on board. It just takes a lot more resources. It's better going second if I could have done more things, especially with that magnet. The magnet's really good when your opponent has monsters on the field. Um, oh, hey. Speaking of which... So, this... After the turn you've used it, you can use it to add a speedroid from your graveyard to your hand. Um, so we're going to do Terror Top. We're going to Normal Summon. And he's going to grab us... Um, actually, I think I can do this if we do this. Okay, get that. We're going to grab that. I may not be able to use it to its full advantage, but it'll still be nice. Give him a kaiju. Ah, okay. Normal summon a wind monster. So we're going to normal summon our malicious magnet. Magnet can target a monster your opponent controls and synchro summon a wind with it. That's why we play the level 7 kaiju specifically, so we can make Kite Drake the new big boss monster. And no, I'm not going to use its effect, because its effect is to blow up all other cards on the field. Which would just be our cards. But you can see the point that, like, you know, maybe we won't get that combo again. But if you do open with, like, a kaiju and a magnet, it's like, oh, whatever their unstoppable negate is, put a kaiju over it. Then normal summon the magnet. Then make this thing that just nukes the entire field. Then if you have anything that lets you special summon, you could just go off on your plays from there. So, yeah. Set Aroma Pass, probably not the best deck, but at least we, you know, we get another win. It was more interesting than Mystic Mind. <laughs> so let's go ahead into the fifth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the fifth duel. This one brought to you by a Twitch, twitch.tv slash openmaw, which is our own Joe Average's Twitch. Every Tuesday, he and his friends play D&D &D on Twitch. If you're interested in D&D, it's not actually D&D, &D, it's like a tabletop game. I believe it's like a homebrew system based off a series of novels that his friend wrote. So super interesting stuff. If you're interested, check that out, follow them on Twitch, you'll get notifications when they go live. Just a neat little thing they're doing. Um, let's see. And yes, going second. We've been lucky enough to go second most of the time. That's what we want. We got our Kaiju. We got our Shock Surprise. We've got, we've got Marble Machine, which is amazing, because Marble Machine is basically a one-card Link. And then the Link will search you something that'll hopefully get you more things. We just got to see what our opponent... And we've also got Hasty Horse. So even if this gets, like, Effect Veilered or something, we could Special Summon this guy out and just have another Wind Monster. And there are actually... There's a, several cards I'm not playing that are really good at just, like, one card... They're just one card Gom Guns. But this card isn't great enough to really rationalize playing a lot of non-speedroids. In my opinion, different people do different things. But there's like a Cyburst that's wind, and it summons a token version of itself when it's summoned. Uh, I forget what it's called, it's in my side deck. But you can play that, that makes this really easy. Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf, when it's summoned, makes a wind token, gets this out real easy. But I find with the new, new support and stuff like that, you don't really need it. So he's going to go for the Cosmo Tin Can, and assuming we don't draw another Kamungus, I'm just going to activate this. Might be a little bit of a waste, but it's better to activate it now and have him basically bait out whatever monster is in his hand than to start doing something and risk a Dark Destroyer coming out and just... Ooh, well, pardon me, ruining our day. 
Now he can still summon that Dark Destroyer, and maybe when it gets destroyed, he can summon something else. Or whatever it is, but at least we will have... Yep, there, it's exactly like I said. I'll take the bigger one, thank you. You can have a spider. Greetings and salutations. And then when this is destroyed, he gets to banish it and summon a level 7 or lower Cosmo from the deck. Cosmos used to be really great. Oh, did that still act? Oh, interesting. I didn't think the timing worked like that. Oops. Big oops. Um. But that's fineish. I'm a fineish guy. We'll just do that thing. We're going to use this, search ourselves, a Taka Tomborg. Taka Tomberg. Okay, now he's got monster negates, which may prove to be a wee bit of a little problem. Um, let's see, do I have a speedroid in the graveyard? No, I do not. And I'm not going to get one really easily. Um... Actually, okay, here's what we're going to do. Special summon that. Um, I can make something. I really want to get a tuner if I can, but if I activate that effect, he's going to pay a thousand and negate it. And I'm not liking that. Uh, and he already has a kaiju, and I can't special summon my kaiju. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead, we're just going to have to make Gom Gum. Um, yeah, that's the right move, pretty sure. Use Gom Gum, then Shock Surprise. Get rid of Taka Tomborg, get rid of you. Hopefully he doesn't have his Dark Destroyer back at three. I think Dark Destroyers, but if he has another Dark Destroyer in his hand, I'm going to be a little fucked. Just a wee bit. But if he has something else in his hand, I should be good. Fuck! I'm a little fucked. Why is this not once per turn at least? Yep, I had no other way to get stuff. Okay, and I got that, and I got that, and I got... Yep. Um... No, we're gonna have to try for it, because he's gonna OTK us otherwise. We're going to discard our other kaiju, because I can't summon it for some reason. I think I'm locked into wind, because I summoned Taka Tomborg. And we're gonna special summon this. And we're gonna make another one. We're gonna try number two. Uh, what do I need to try to... I can't... I don't have a Taka Tomborg. I don't have... Fuck, do I have anything I could summon that would actually help me? I don't think so. <laughs> Sadly. Um, but at least I got something on the board. Maybe that's, that's the way to look at it. We're gonna go with this. Yeah, because Taka Tomborg can only be summoned once per turn. Granted, if I get a second one, and I normal summon it, I can... Still activate its effect, because I could still normal summon it. I haven't activated its effect. And then I can... Get a tuner in the graveyard, and that'll at least get me set up for stuff. Oh wait, no, I have this! What am I thinking? I completely forgot. Summon this from the deck. Use this guy, with this guy. Make this guy. Blow up the field. I don't need these anyway. He gets to banish again. I'm probably on the losing. I've used my entire hand and he still is going to have four cards. Hopefully he doesn't have Honest in his hand. Okay, good. 
Yep, just floating for days. Makes me wish I played Called by the Grave. Called from the Grave? Called by... I forget. Called. I wish I played Called. A cauldron of things. Yep, so there you go. It took a while, but again, it, it shows how, like, I can play through several disrupts. I can play around things with this deck. Not necessarily great at it, but it, it's sort of like, when you look at my uh, my last last deck that I did, the um, the Red Dragon, that had the problem of, like, you would normal summon, and if your normal summon got negated, you were just, your turn was over. There was nothing you can do. This has enough enough options that at least you could still play, even if you something gets negated or something gets disrupted. And this thing, not the, the great... I mean, it's good going second, it wipes the field, but its only protection, if you could call it that, is just the fact that it uh, it floats. You could search any speedroid from your deck when it's destroyed. Or no, sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card. But he's not going to send it to the graveyard. He's going to bounce it back to my deck. Because he's like, I don't want you to have a card. Now, fortunately, there are some graveyard effects. I don't know if I have any of them, but... I have set up in the graveyard. I have a I have a Monster Reborn-like card. I have the yo-yo that summons a card out of the graveyard. There are several cards I have which could help me come out... Several top decks which could help me come out of this situation. Uh, and this is kind of one of them. Um, oh yeah, and I could do that, but... You know. Fortunately... Oh, it can't be targeted! Can't... Fuck! I forgot this can't be targeted. I thought it was just Dark Destroyer. Welp! Mistakes were made. Big old, big sweaty mistakes. I could have tributed this and then done that, and I would have been able to make the thing. But it's only when it's normal summon. Ah, damn it. Yep, it's one of those. It, it's one of those things where it's like they say Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read. I've read this card, but I haven't played it in so long that I'm like, oh yeah, I remember what Forerunner does. If it's destroyed, it summons a level 6, and during the standby phase, it gains a 1,000. And I forgot that it also, um, can't be targeted. <laughs> so I didn't read it, because I'm like, oh, I know all its, all its effects. A sad state of affairs. So a loss due to our own incompetence. I'm sorry, I hope that I don't bring too much shame to this dojo. At least I got to see what it did the one time. Next duel. <laughs> Oh hey, how's it going? Enjoying the show so far? I assume so, since you've made it halfway through the video. I just wanted to take a moment to be like, hey, if since you're clearly enjoying the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. I put out a new video every week. Uh, like the video if you like it. Uh, dislike it if you don't like it. I mean, I'm not going to hold it against you. Uh, also, this channel's funded almost entirely by Patreon. So if you like what I do and you'd like to help out and get some neat rewards, check that out. For just $2, you could get the sleeves I've made, the negation, not just for this deck, but for every deck. Also, all the music that I use in all my replay videos, that's all original. You can download that from the Patreon. And there's a whole bunch of other rewards, from requesting stuff to getting shoutouts in the video. It's pretty neat. I also have a Discord. You can get on that from the Patreon if you donate a dollar. And you know what? If you don't feel like doing anything, that's fine, too. Thanks for putting up with this little interruption. Let's get back into the duels. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Here we are. Six duel. Fresh off the halfway marker point. And this one's brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Slamuel, who slams his fist down on things and does stuff and stuff. And we're going up against normal monster beatdown for some reason. An interesting choice, to be sure. We're gonna go with our horse. Horse is like, hello? He summons Den Den Archduke? I mean, he summons anything, but I'm gonna go with Den Den Archduke. Unless he negates it. Nope, he's not gonna negate it. Hello, I am a duke. We're going to make this. We don't have our Takatomborg or our uh, other thing. Or Terra Top. So we're going to send a level 6 and get one of those. One of those two, 
I mean, either way, we're going to get a Takatom Borg. It'll be a pretty neat thing. Yep, we got our Takatom Borg. So, what we're going to do, special summon this first. And then we're going to normal summon the Red-Eyed Die. Hello, nice to meet you. Because it changes the level when it's summoned, and if you do that in the reverse order, you're going to have a bad time. Because we've already got our tuner. Normally you could tag this out for any non-tuner. But I'm not about that life. Let's go ahead into this. And let's go ahead and just... Let's go ahead and make it a Crystal Wing. Even though he doesn't look like he has monster effects... He's playing normal monster pass, but you never know. It never hurts to just have that little monster negate, just in case. No OTK this time. We could have put another... Oh, he just surrendered. All right, one monster negate too strong, I guess, for the normal monster deck. I don't know what's going on. Well, that was weird. Yeah, we could have put on another 2300 if we had used the effect of guitars, but we didn't. Maybe more of a kite? I don't know. We're not playing super optimally, but we did a thing. Let's go into the next duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, seventh duel, brought to you by your boy, Hobbsy, coming down. He's got a Patreon request next, next time. I'll tell you what that is at the end of the episode. But thanks to him, we open with our Garnet. That's not good. We're going up against... <laughs> At least that's what I'm assuming. It's all L's. Oh, is this Mystic Mine? Am I gonna am I gonna be able to 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 not count this one as per my my rules? And then it won't matter that I got my Garnet. We'll find out. I'm gonna summon this here because that's the only zone I can summon Mare Mare in or Red Haired Hasty Horse. <laughs> all right, show me that that Mystic Mine. If you do, I'm out. I'm out e five thousand. Oh nope. Okay. Nothing so far. And let's make Gom Gum. This could be... I was going to say, this could be Counter Fairies, now that I think about it. Um, let's try that again. Hasty Horse comes back. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, actually, here's a chance to do... 3,000. Let's take that real quick, just in case we get hit with another Solemn Strike and our life is just sadness. That way, at least we'll get him down to, like, the halfway mark. Okay, we got him to the halfway... Let's let's try this again and see if this works. Okay, we we it went through this time. Neato mosquito. I could have done other stuff this entire time. We're gonna search just one of these and one of these. Um let's see. What do I have in here? It was a Den Den, right? Okay, I've got the Den Den. So... Um, oh yeah, okay. Normal summon another wind. A wind. Ooh, let's go guitars. And... Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, we'll, we'll just do this. Not the most optimal of plays. I was like, oh, I can make a 7 if I summon Red-Eyed Dice, but this isn't a speed roid, so it won't work. And you can't sync with this except its effect, so we're just going to get another Den Den. And we're going to make our other level 6. Kendama. In defense mode. Just a little defense wall. This thing can come back if it's like the only card you control and you just can't normal summon. And it can also banish a machine monster to inflict 500 burn damage. So let's inflict 500 burn damage, shall we? Um, 
This I can't summon back because it's been its summon was negated. Yeah, extra damage. It also does piercing. It's not the most useful card, but that's the whole point of the toolbox. If you set something, being able to summon this is good. If you get them close to an OTK and then they, like, put up some sort of monster you can't get over, being able to just bring this back every turn and do, like, 500, 500 for that last thousand, really good. It's only once per turn, but again, if this card is in your graveyard, you control no cards, you can special summon it. But you can't normal summon that turn. And now I'm mildly regretting putting it in defense mode, but that's fine-ish. Because, yeah, again, if he destroys all this, I can bring it back. There's another. I can attack into whatever he's got with the defense mode. So I'm not completely out of the game. I've also got, what's it called? Hasty? Not Hasty Horse. I mean, I've got Hasty Horse, but that's uh, Stilt Horse. Horse Stilts. This thing. This weird-looking thing. That's some kind of monster. Oh, he's going to send... Okay. Weird Flex, but okay. Afraid of Kendama. Never seen that before. Um, but yeah, haste, th this horse, he can send a monster from your deck to the graveyard. So we've got the Den Den, we've got the, uh, yeah, the, the, the tuner that you can banish in order to summon any other tuner out of the graveyard. So I can use the horse to send a tuner to the graveyard and summon it out, depending on what I get with my hand. Of course, he's got this. This is going to be hard to out if I don't get my... A kaiju or a kaiju slumber. Granted, there are seven and... <laughs> Granted, there are seven of them. Get out of here with that shit. I'm not liking that shit. All right. Hasty horse. Send a magnet. Denden. Den. Summon the magnet. Magnet. Target the kaiju. Make a level 8 synchro. Level 8 synchro. Nuke the field, if you would. Well, by got his scythe. He two reincarnations. He didn't activate them. I kind of wish he did, because this is useless in my hand. This is only good for summoning off of, uh, whatchamacallit, guitars. I'm not sure if I explained that earlier, but guitars, you can, if you put it in the scale, you can discard a card, summon this, and not only is it a 2300 beater, but it gives you an additional normal summon, which again is really good for the speedroids, because there's a whole lot of normal summons. Also, just this, plus, um, this plus Denden, Den, the level 3, automatically makes you a, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of his other light level 5. Yeah, this plus the Denden Den just gets you a Kite Drake. And Kite Drakes are cool. Um, I could do this. Get a Speedroid out of my graveyard. I don't want to yet, because I want to see what I want to, what I'm going to draw first. I can't make any more plays this turn anyway because I can't summon out of the extra deck with Scythe on the field, or when it activated it this, this turn. Honest? Or is he just going into attack mode to, like, show his disdain? Summon, search, Korobane, and then attack over. That might be enough to kill me. No, he's going for light. Oh yeah, light stage, search as a trick star. They're just a chain of searches. Candina searches and each spell trap. The spell trap searches Candina. It also searches anything else you want to search. Added to the hand, summon this. Make Gumblar Dragon that's banned? <laughs> no, probably Boral Load. Boral Sword. No? Okay. Oh, but he can get this back, and this is, like, honest for Trick Stars. Add that back to his hand. Ouch. 
Yeah, I think I'm doomed anyway, but at least I can be doomed with... Where is it at? Whatever, let's just get a magnet. At least I could be doomed with a magnet in my hand. Oh, and I searched. That'll be the death of me. I mean, it was the death of me anyway, because this can attack. Yeah. A sad state of affairs. Losing to trick stars. <sighs> oh, well. Let's go into the eighth duel, shall we? <laughs> All right, here we are, eighth duel. This one brought to you by Patreon sponsor Chris W., Nice fan from Hong Kong sends us all the OCG cards that we get in our unboxings. Critical to the channel. Can't thank him enough. We're going up against a person. Good to know. If this was a machine, I would be, I would be untrustworthy and unwary. We're going up against Atlanteans. They're going first, though. I know they have, like, an equip card that can stun stuff. I forget exactly if it if it negates monsters or spells, but I think it's just one or the other. Who knows what else they could make? I certainly don't, so I can't really talk on it. So let's just go ahead and fast forward through this and see what he comes up with. Uh-oh. Nightmares. That makes me think this is not a, a, a uh, Atlantean deck, but some sort of Orcist build that just uses Atlanteans. Because you could just tech in Orcist into anything. And Moon Glacia, and he's just gonna loop my hand. Sadness. Sadness is a place I live. Well, that was a big waste of time. I guess I'm not going to count that at all. <laughs> all right, here we are, a real eighth duel, hopefully, versus Garyu. Interesting name, sounds familiar. Oh, I need to give the shout- oh, I already gave out the shout-out. It was to Chris W. Th thanks to him again. He get, he gets double thanks because you know this is a uh, th this is this is a real duel. He doesn't get thanks for that crappy duel. That doesn't count. Uh, let's see in speedroids. I have to write down all the the shout outs on a piece of paper so I can keep track of who's getting shouted out when. But hopefully I won't have to do that for too much longer. I've actually reformatted the Patreon recently, where now the oh hey Buster Dragons cool. I saw Blade Ygo played those in the YugiTuber tournament. That was neat. I might have to try those out. He didn't do anything, though. Not Blade. Blade did stuff. This guy didn't do anything. <laughs> F. Sadness. What? I don't know why he did that. That was a very big waste of your effect, Valor. Unless you've got something I don't understand. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and I was talking about the Patreon. I'm going to change it so that instead of having to give shoutouts every every uh, episode, or every duel, there's just going to be one thing at the end where I give thanks to everyone. Um, because I've got too many people in the shoutout tier now. The Curse of Popularity. And plus, people who get the shoutouts don't seem to care. They just kind of like to help, and they like having their name shouted out, for the most part. I've got a higher tier for the people who have, like, uh, uh, pa not Patreons, but who have stuff. Another one. Um, does that screw me over? Somewhat, but I could still do stuff. Let's do this. Let's activate this to get Den Den. Let's make another one. And I could still use it. Oh, did I already use? Aw. 
I thought I didn't use its effect to normal summon again. No, he let me search and then he did it. Okay. I was getting, I was too busy talking about Patreon and stuff. Oops. Big oops. Oops out of ten. Um. Well, at least he used extra stuff. That's what I get. A lot of people, not a lot of people, but I get people who criticize me for, like, my, my dueling in this, and it's hard to, like, talk to people and duel at the same time. If you think you're good at it, I would say try it. And if you are actually good at it, then start a YouTube channel, because it's not, it's not that hard to start a YouTube channel. You, you, if you could save up, like, a hundred bucks, you can get a, a setup to do really good. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Aw, oh, shit. Um, let's try this. Let's go with the four this time. Um, and let's try this and a den den just to get things set up. Will it work this time? I am on the edge of my seat. I paid for the whole seat. But I only use the edge. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about, but I'm on about something. Um, let's see. Let's just get this. Let's just do one of these. Kaka jack jack. <laughs> well said. I I expect, possibly, um. Let's see, let's normal summon this guy. Let's get another ra -pa 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 -pa. one of these. Taka Taka Taka. Taka the Tom Borg. He's borging his takas. And let's go for red eyed dice. Got one left. Only play two of them. Usually the duel's over by the time I use both of them. Well plus you can summon them back with Den Den, so it's alright. Once they're in the grave, they're they're reusable. Um, and yeah, I could make a level eight, but he's play. I know he's playing Buster Bladers, so he's got high level monsters. So these will actually be really good. This is like when a level five or higher activates its effect, you can negate it. Or if it tar if a monster targets a level five or higher. So it's more specific than Crystal Wing, but it will it will it'll work in this situation now that I know he's playing that. And this just negates the effect of a monster summoned from the extra deck. He's got one turn. What will be able to do? Add one destruction sword from your deck to your hand. Alright. Although these are dragons, I've got a lot of dragons. Fusion summon one fusion monster that lists Buster Blader from its materials from your side of the hand to your side of the hand with stuff. Tribute it. Summon a Buster Blader. He's blading my busters. And then he can equip... Oh, um... Target one, equip this. While this is equipped to the monster, your opponent can add some of the monsters from the extra deck. Oh, I don't want that. Stop it. Because he targeted a level 6 or higher monster. These effects are not mutually exclusive. Let it rip. Bay blade, bay blade, let it rip. Terror top can let it rip. I'm in danger. This does piercing. Does it do double piercing? Nope, just regular piercing. Uh, let's see. Girl, I like the way that you dance when you dance. Like the way that you dance when you dance with your pants off. Um, let's see. It must be fusion summon. This card can attack correctly. This card gains 100 attack and defense for each dragon type or in the thing. Uh, what does this do? If this card is in the graveyard, you can target one card in your hand in the graveyard, add this card to your hand. 
It's not over yet. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I can... I don't even need to use my... Oh, but why? Fiend Magnet. And guess what? This isn't a dragon. It's a machine. <laughs> Fucking magnets. How do they work? Am I right? <laughs> Good duel, though. Nice to see some Buster Bladers. They are underrated. So yes, we win this one thanks to the power of magnets. Didn't even have to use my kaijus. Didn't even do it. Thanks to Garyu for showing off some buster bladers. And let's go into the ninth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the ninth duel versus something. Who knows what it could be. And this, this duel is brought to you by Patreon Sponsor Skilled Summoner. The most skilled of all the summoners that I know. I don't know if you know any better, better summoners. If you do, uh, don't shout them out in the comments. Just shout out Skilled Summoner because he gave me money and he deserves it. Although if you know other summoners who have money and want to give it to YouTubers, I mean, you know, and, uh, oh hey, time thieves. Stealing my time, are ya? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. For a second I was worried because I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna get as a thoughted, and then I realized he can't do that anymore. So I'm safe-ish. And also do I have I have no traps in my deck, so he's not gonna be able to steal anything anything that's gonna be useful. If anything, he's gonna steal probably a speed droid that will be useful in the grave. Yeah, bamboo horse has a grave effect, so we're good. Um so, give me my bamboo horse, and magnets, and fuck the rest of your field. I'm not liking that. Alright. Thanks for clearing my space and giving me a free search. You know what I'm going to get with that? The thing that lets me special summon it if I control no monsters. And he surrendered. <laughs> that worked out surprisingly well. Yeah, that's Fiend Magnet and Kite Drake make this deck so ridiculous. It's It's not even like a great deck. But the fact that you can do something like that really, really helps out. You get yourself your Terror Top. If they bring Terror Top back to back to two or three, I don't know. I don't know if Link shenanigans make this thing still broken. But they got rid of MX Saber Invoker, which is what most people got this. Search Taka Tomborg and made Invoker and then went off from there. With Invoker Band, I feel like maybe this could come back. I don't know, it's still two free monsters that you search from the deck, so maybe not. Either way, let's go into that tenth and final duel. <laughs> and here we are, that tenth and final duel. Just like I said, I predicted the future because I made it happen. We're going up against a Jedi with a 12-card extra deck, playing those Jedi mind tricks, I see. More than a 40-card. Interesting, I thought we were going up against more Cosmos, because they're thematically the, the Jedi thing. Um, this we might have some trouble with if we can't, if we can't Fiend Magnet or get, like, Shock Surprise. Okay, Shock Surprise is no longer an option, and we drew our Garnet. Um, and he has no monsters. We can pen, no, we can't Pendulum Summon because we can't, um... Oh, he doesn't control any spell cards, so let's just go ahead and activate that. Maybe that'll trick him into summoning a Dark Magician. No? Okay. Interesting choice. Um... Yeah, we're going to special summon these two, because they're... We could Pendulum! 
Who thought we would be pendulum summoning in this day and age? Unfortunately, this isn't a complete garnet. It's mostly a garnet, but obviously if you get it with the, the guitars, then you can pendulum. For seven, which gets most of our stuff. Let's go ahead and do our thing for six. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, we do, we still need to go for six. You could do a seven and then get, like, Marble Machine or something else. Um, let's hope that we get this. Yeah, because Taka Tomborg on him by himself is not going to be great. We need to get the Terror Top. And we got the Terror Top! What do you know? Droll and Lockbird. Um, for the rest of this turn, neither player... Well... Now there's no point in summoning Terror Top because I can't search the Taka Tomborg that I wanted to search. So I guess we just go in for a thousand. We've still got Kamungus plus Magnet. So if he gives us a monster to, to do stuff with, we're good. We don't need this anymore. So if he gets himself like a, I don't know, searches a, uh, no, <laughs> okay. Uh, normal summon? Hello. Let's get... Let's get started, shall we? Um, let's see. Special summon. Get Denden Den Archduke. He'll know what to do about this. And yeah, he's just got so much advantage, and that's the thing I'm worried about. And this is six. Oops. Oopsie doopsie doopsie poopsie. Um, well. I was like, we could make an eight, but we can't make an eight. Not with the things we have. Uh, that's fine. We'll just make Kendama then. I don't need to be special. I don't need to Google my gobbles. Um. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, what do I have in here? I don't need two Taka Tomborgs. Let's get rid of one of those. Extra 500, just because I feel like it. Yep, I should have summoned Red-Eyed Dice. Oh, hey, he's giving me a monster now. No, he's getting... that. Okay. All I need you to do is give me a monster. Uh, Dark Magician is unaffected. Okay, yeah, but I could still tribute it, and I could still do other things. Um... What is this? Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess I can go ahead. Might as well. Let's just send one of our level 7s. Let's get a yo-yo, and... Did I miscount? I miscounted again. I'm such an idiot. Um, let's get a yo-yo and a den den. I don't know why I'm like four and two. That's seven, of course. Yu-Gi-Oh players can't math. You think if I could math, I would be here right now? Uh, okay. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, the only nine I have is Mistworm. Because you're locked into wind if you use Takatom. I mean, you could play Trishula in this, because this only locks you into Synchros. Oh, he just surrendered. Damn. We lost there. He lost that one just because he didn't draw well. That's that's kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to be able to actually do some stuff. Maybe, like, nuke his field or have, like, a back and forth or something. Not having a back and forth, not having interaction. That's not just bad when your opponent causes it by by their choice of deck, but when it happens to you, the other... I don't know what I'm on about. I've been here for an hour and a half. <laughs> a little more than that. So you know what? Let's just go ahead to the end screen. <laughs> you know what? I lied. Let's not go to the end. That was anticlimactic. Let's do a final duel and see if we can win on this. That's the great thing about being funded mostly by Patreon. I don't care about ad revenue. I don't care about the viability of, like, two-hour-long videos. If I want to go to an hour and 40 minutes, 
playing ding dang old speed roids just so I can have something cool. I am going to do it, darn it. Although, uh, I don't know what he's playing, but he is certainly drawing a lot. Is this Exodia? Did I... Well, that wasn't a very good duel -y. Let's find a real bonus 11th duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Real, 100%, no GMO-free, science-confirmed 11th duel. And we've got two interrupted kaiju slumber. This is looking awfully familiar. He has a different name. Dark Magicians again. But this time I have no magnet to magnetize him with. A sad state of affairs. Am I going to be having a sad man times? It's possible. I've had sad man times in the past. Well, he got his dark magician. So if he's got his... Uh... Whatever that trap is called that I usually know. Something will. Something, maybe. Dark magic veil. All right. Oh, no. He's just bringing it out now. Bond between student and teacher. And then set one dark magic attack, dark burning attack, dark burning magic attack. Uh, destroy all cards your opponent controls. That would be good if I was going second, but I'm not going second. Um, oh, this is a quick play. Well. No. Let it rip. <laughs> Once per turn. All right. Um, let's see here. Special summon. Um, let's crash it into Dark Magician Girl. That'll get it off the field, so he can't. He's got to use his burning magic now, just on a hasty horse. A little too hasty about that horse, one might say. Um, let's see. Okay then. Uh, normal summon. Sure, why not? Special summon this guy. Tribute him. Friend Magnet. Magnet, get rid of this. I don't like it. Make it one of these guys. And just destroy everything. Just blow it all up. We're done. Enjoy the top decks. <laughs> There we go. Now there's... We got ourselves a real Dark Magician duel. Dark Magician was out here. Dark Magician girl made an appearance. It was fine and dandy, like lemon candy. I may be overextending, but we're gonna go for the 5,000. Now draw your last pathetic card, Yugi, and we'll see who who's with who about you. And watch, his grandpa's deck is going to have... Oh no, he, his grandpa's deck has pathetic cards. It has pathetic cards, and he drew both of them. A sad state of affairs for him, and a much more interesting duel for us. And I, I'm sorry if I was a little bit overly uh, aggressive there. I don't like to be the kind of guy who like beats people when they're down. He certainly tried to do something interesting, so we got to give him props. He got both the Dark magic. He was better than that first Dark Magician player. Give him that. Thanks to, to cut, cut 689 in the comments. There's already so many patrons to thank. Either way, let's really go to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Speedroid Toolbox. We went 8 and 3 after 11 duels. Granted, we skipped over the Mystic Mine. I believe we had one or couple that were like asterisks where it was like, I don't know what they were doing. They didn't really put up the greatest of fights. So again, not the best deck, but hopefully I've showed off the cool things it can do. You can make this big nuke guy, you can make Crystal Wing, Clear Wing, you don't really get to show off Fast Dragon, Kendama, even the even these two, these three, these are all pretty, th this deck has a lot of neat cards. Hopefully I'll be able to show them off in the replay video, you could check that out. If you're watching this the day this comes out, it'll be out tomorrow, if not, it should already be down in the description. Anyway, next time I'm going to be playing Ojam ABC by Patreon request. 
A crazy deck full of Ojamas, people always like them, but with ABCs thrown in. So maybe you'll learn to read. Anyway, until then, good luck, and have fun. Mm-hmm.